Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about the lead time lithium ion phosphate 12 volt battery 100 amp hour group 24. Thanks for watching again. This video is about the lead time lithium ion phosphate battery. It's a group 24 12 volt battery 100 amp hours. This battery is in a compact small housing, very, very popular battery. This battery is without Bluetooth. So currently we're looking at uh, this price. I checked it's on our own website, but it is also on Amazon. And there's also a link in the description below. And maybe there's also some discounts. Link in the description below. So this battery, as I mentioned, does not come with Bluetooth. They have the same battery size, but with Bluetooth. So we'll look inside if we maybe see the difference in the BMS. Here are the dimensions of this battery and the weight. As always, it's very important to understand what we're dealing with here and what you're dealing with. It's a very compact battery, so there's not a lot of room usually around in this housing, which is great because that's how it should be. They're smaller and smaller every time we look at them, it feels like. So amazing. This 100 amp hour battery from Lee Time, um, they like to compare it with even their bigger battery, which is a Group 27 or something, I believe, or 31, I forgot. But um, it's just bigger in the housing. And this one, at least here in the picture, they say it's an upgraded version. So that's what we are going with when that's what they, that's what they're saying. The lifespan as always with lithium ion phosphate can be up to 10 years or well, service life. It can have between 4,000 and 15,000 cycles and has a very, very small self discharge rate. That's what the has it with. That's the chemistry. And it always depends on how you use it. If you discharge it and deplete it to hundred percent and then, or zero percent and then charge it up to hundred and do that every single time. Serious life is only 4,000 cycles, if at all. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. And this battery, it can be configured in a, it can be connected to 4P4S. So what does that mean? You can have four parallel connections, so up to 400 amp hours, or you can have up, in a, up to four in a serious connection, up to 48 volt. This is very awesome to see. So and hear about this battery. So there's a lot, lot of capabilities. I've seen this battery specifically already, already in other videos, I feel like, and this has maximum, maximum continuous charge, but also discharge current is 100 amps, which is amazing for this small battery. So it must be at least 100 amp BMS in there. So we'll see, we'll see when we'll take it apart, um, what it actually can do. And because of the size, um, this battery can, in my opinion, be used in camper vans, pretty awesome. And then you can use your 4P4S or just 4P connection, whatever you need. Uh, that is very cool to see. But if you wanna have 5P, might not be possible with this battery, but uh, it always depends on BMS if it can understand what's happening there. It does come with this nice package, in the package. And when you don't break it, then you can open it. And then you can, then you can see what's inside. So they have done a lot of advertisement marketing, I guess. What you see very rarely is probably such a page, um, battery certificates, which is amazing that they put that in here. Highest level safety based on CE, FCC. And here we are at this page. Really nice to see that. You might know from Red Audio or from Power Queen, up there is a video of them or one of them. Um, they also come with some stickers. So looks like, uh, they're using a similar manufacturer unit or marketing department, not sure about that, but uh, it looks pretty nice. Then we have the manual where you can see all the specs and information you actually need to know about your battery. And they say maximum continuous discharge current 100 amp and recommended charge current 20. They don't say anything about the continuous charge of 100 amp in here, but they say it on the sticker up here. Sorry, I have to say that this one looks so familiar, even though Power Queen and Red Audio I looked at them a while back. They have similar pages, similar graphics, um, always different colors, maybe updated as well, but it looks similar. So still I like to see that they have that. And now we should focus on the capacity test and then take it apart to see what's actually inside. So we'll do that now. Okay, here we're back with the lead time battery, lithium ion phosphate, and we are doing the capacity test. And here you can see we did prepare everything. And just to give you the proof back there, you can see we do have the lead time battery. All right, what does that mean? Guys, as always, 
capacity test will run um, an empty battery completely and see how much amp hours we have at the end. When you look down here, that's where we want to have and see um, 100, at least 100 amp hour or possibly more. So let me start test. And now it should ramp slowly up. We'll see where it stops. All right, yeah, we are a little bit below 0.2C. It will ramp up a little bit more. And I'll be back with the results when the test is done. So we can discuss how good this battery is performing. Oh yeah, look at this. This looks great. 104 amp hours has this battery delivered. That's great. That is great to see. That's a pass for the lead time 12.8 volt 100 amp hour battery. Group 24. Now we can continue after we've done the capacity test. Great to see this. I like it. And coming back from the capacity test, it did pass with 104 amp hours and I stopped it. So actually it would have pulled even more. But this is amazing for 100 amp hour battery advertised. This is really good to see and I'm happy to see that we are at least or succeeding the 100 amp hours. So that's amazing. So now we'll take it apart, look inside and see if we have any protection. So it does say we have overcharging, over discharging, over current, overheating and short circuit. So it does not have a cold temp cutoff it looks like. We'll check for the overheating but also for the low temperature cutoff if there's maybe something which is not advertised. As always they might use, you know, similar BMS just maybe connected or not connected but we'll see. Uh, the price tag you saw and by the way there's not a battery, battery up there which I tested, same size, but does come with a self-heating pan in case you're looking for winter season already. Uh, just want to point it out. And I believe lead time might have also competition or competitor as well. I'm not sure about that, but let's start with this one. Okay, we got it. I think I heard a lot of about the build quality in the past from lead time and let's go through it, what I see here, what we can deal with. Um, starting off with Yes, the lid is still on back up here. Um, it is glued, but only to fixate it, I guess. Uh, that it's not moving. And it's hard to see what size wire we're using. We do have definitely on the negative side. The negative side, we have three 10 gauge wires. And we have one, yeah. We do have a six gauge wire over here, well insulated here to protect it even more, I guess. So then we have on top here, we have the BMS to give you a better perspective and better reading, I hope. Here we can see it, it's a lead time branded. Maybe it's all manufactured. Um, here's the model number for S1 at Emperor. Charge and discharge, I assume. And uh, serial number, and then you can see already here I would say machine soldered, it looks like. And then there's some liquid on top, probably some glue or whatever to maintain it. And this entire EMS is just glued on top, but that's still a very clean setup. We can see here on that side that we have a temperature switch over here. This one, so we'll test the heat cut off with this one. I can see that the cells have some scratches on the bottom, which always for me feel like, okay, um, it might be already used and moved around more often, but it's just always my, well, I guess they're not in the blue shrink wrap, in a black shrink wrap. The blue you see here is actually, I would assume this is probably some steel. Yeah, it is some steel mount, which push them together and compress them. There is some epoxy board in between every cell. And then we have all the bus bars have this, not spring, but it's, it has a bump so it can expand and contract, which is great to see here. We do have um, here some holes for the vents and underneath we have the <laughs> balance leads just clued in. And the balance leads itself, let me try to give you a better angle. The balance leads are mounted here to the bus bars and it looks like it could be, it's not necessary, but the bus bars could be used already. Laser welded here, so that's what we see. 
the main positive up here in the corner, this one, uh, you can see it is mounted like this. There's a balance lead. Same with the negative over here, main negative over here. It's solid and put together pretty good. High density form on all sides. Uh, funny enough, this one, I'm sometimes wondering if they do it on purpose, but do you look in the box? All right, that box, there's nothing in it. But this one on the bottom is still having the foil on it to peel off the adhesive or, oh yeah, yeah. Could take off the adhesive. So I think that's in the manufacturing process just missed. As always, um, they try to do it as cheap as possible. Sometimes some stuff could miss. So um, as long as it's not life-threatening or critical, I'm totally fine. And for me, taking it apart, it's way easier. Otherwise it would have stuck to the bottom, way more difficult to cut out. It was easy to slide out. It is pretty much all you, I can talk about at the moment. I could take it apart completely, which doesn't make sense, but it would be possible because it's also, it's well made in my opinion so far. I mean, as long as those solder blobs, I'm gonna call them, they're good and solid and they machined it looks like, or it's done by a person and they are really good at it. I'll try to get off this high temp switch. Okay, we're charging. You can see it here in the background as always back there. Um, a little blurry, blurry, but it is what it is. So we have the high temp switch. It's hard to read what's written on it because they put some the clue on top. I think it's a 75 degree Celsius. Yep, 75. So let's see how far we can get with this test. And there it is, just triggered. Yep, there it is, back on charging. Okay, that's, since it's not advertised with low temp cutoff and it's a high temp switch, I'll just spray it with some ice cold duster spray. Still charging, can do it one more, but there will nothing, will most likely nothing be happening. Must be freezing cold right now. <laughs> Alrighty. I can stop here because there won't happen anything else. It was charging, you saw that. So that's really good and refreshing to see. And for this little battery, um, they do have super high output battery with a very strong BMS, strong cells, which I don't have seen or touched that yet, but Lead time has a variety of different batteries, which is amazing to see. And uh, the Bluetooth version of this one, we will see pretty soon. Speaking about Bluetooth is, let's look at it. So when we look at this, here are the balance leads coming in. And you might remember, we will compare this with the Bluetooth version when, they, when it's coming. Uh, when I do the video, I don't see anything else here connected. Um, looks like maybe over here, maybe over here, maybe here, that's where they connect. Bluetooth version or maybe it does come already with a built-in Bluetooth version um, module or whatever but um, there are just here the high temp switch most likely over here would be the low temp temperature probe as well which it's not on this BMS so they might use different BMSs we will compare them so that's pretty cool and of course I want to give you a chance to see how it looks underneath this vent uh, oh, and I just checked for the cells and the cell is a San Voda, San Voda cell, lithium and phosphate is so don't say anything about capacity, no energy manufactured in 2022 maybe. Well, that's, that's pretty much it, there's nothing else about them. Um, but that's the one I did scan and I put it here on the screen as well for those ones who want to read it and see. And when I scan a second one, it's pretty much the same. At least this gives you an understanding of it. This is pretty much all about this battery. Lead time, group 24, link in the description below. Let me know what you think about this battery. I think it is a solid, small battery. It's well built together as well. I like what I've seen here. And please like the video if you like that stuff. Let me know what you think about it in the comments if you need anything else. And thanks for watching. Cheers!